Bob, what are you doing? Skate skiing. What kind of skis are those? This is a Solomon RS8 ski. I just got to upgrade the poles to it. So I think I'm going to go a lot faster now. Sweet. Yeah. Hi, have fun. Okay. Hey, skiers. I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. I'm Bob. How's it going? Uh, Bob and I are here today to introduce our first annual Nordic ski test. Very exciting. Yeah, really exciting. Yeah. Uh, we all had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully you've seen our Alpine ski test before. If you haven't, uh, I'll definitely, I'll leave a link to that in the description yeah. of this video too. If you haven't seen our Alpine test, definitely check that out. We've done three, three years of Alpine mm -hmm. tests in a row now. Um, and last year we kind of sat as a group and we're like, hey, we sell Nordic skis, cross country skis. Yeah. Um, and kind of determined that there was a lack of, of information out there yeah. about them. Um, you know, some of some of our staff needed help and, and were asking a lot of right. questions yeah, like, what's, <laughs> what ski should I buy? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we host, hosted a Nordic test and the results are now live um, on our website. So definitely check that out. Um, mm -hmm. It was really fun. Yep. Yeah, we uh, live in such a great place for it. I mean, there's just endless trails in the Stowe area. And, yeah, uh, traps and the Stone Nordic Center and some of these other smaller private areas. I mean, that's the connections are incredible. Like how far you can go around here on a pair of skis. Yeah, and that's what I like about it. Yeah, we definitely live in an iconic town for Nordic skiing. Yeah. Um, in addition to alpine skiing, but Stowe is pretty famous in the Nordic ski community um, for Trap Family Lodge. Yeah, part partly. Um, that's where we held our first annual Nordic test, which was yeah pretty cool. I mean, Trap Family Lodge is one of the premier. Nordic centers in the world, um, so thank you for Traps to, yeah, to letting us host our test there. Um, and we also have the Stowe Derby yep. here in Stowe. So a big, crazy downhill Nordic race that starts at the top of the mountain and historically ended in in the town of yeah. Stowe. Um, since then, it's been shortened, unfortunately, but it's still a really cool race. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we live in a really cool, iconic town for, for Nordic skiing, um, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we had we had four different brands. Mm -hmm. We had Rosignol, Solomon, Alpina, and Fisher. Uh, we had about 22 different testers. Um, big range of, of tester backgrounds yep. and abilities. Like Bob, what's your what's your cross country skiing background mm, like? Novice for technique, but I like it. So sure. I you know I'm happy to go for an hour, two hours, and either you know stay in the track or do some little adventuring but <laughs> yep yeah i'm not i don't have any technique i mean i get i get smoked by people that have you know raced like yourself that have raced and people that have done this forever i mean it's just uh it's hard <laughs> yeah so we had we had a lot of people like bob um you know i'd say maybe almost half of our testers were definitely more recreational yeah. beginner to intermediate level cross country skiers um, and then we had we had a girl, Mackenzie, who is pretty high up on the UVM team, right. which is one of the best Nordic teams in the country. Right, these collegiate races are unbelievable. Um, so, you know, she was pretty amazing to watch, uh, watch efficiently rip around. Um, I have a pretty extensive Nordic ski racing yeah. background, which seems, seems like a different lifetime for me, but when I was in high school, I was pretty serious about it. And yeah. It's like riding a bike that that technique was still deep yep. down inside somewhere so i had a lot of fun testing for me like kind of the highlight was testing the the performance skate skis yeah. um, and and in our test you'll find it broken down into five different categories so those four brands of skis were broken down into basically a backcountry and light touring category mm -hmm. um, and then we get performance classic performance skate and recreational classic and recreational skate yeah. And there's actually some crossover in there too. Um, you know, like you'll see some skiers that fall into, in our opinion, they fell into both the light touring category and the recreational yeah. classic category. Um, so that's how you'll navigate it. Um, testers were, were a key key part yeah. to the test yep. again and to the results. Um, so I'd encourage you if you're browsing the test to try and find a tester that kind of is most like you that you that you identify with, um, and then and then ski with, see yeah. what skis they tested and and how they how they like those skis. Um, 
Would yeah. you say like weight and skill level are kind of two of the things to look at, or? Yeah, I would. I would focus more on. Uh, I would focus more on skill level than yeah. weight. Um, you know, weight is definitely a determining factor, but I would. I would focus more on skill level when picking the ski itself. Yeah. And then weight is really going to basically determine which length you're going right. to get within that that ski. Um, you'll see some. I guess there is a varying, some skis perform differently for lighter weight skiers than heavier skiers, like a a, a really high-end classic race ski, is, it yeah. might be challenging for a lighter weight skier, but again, there's different flex patterns within that ski right. for different weights, so if you decide that you want a race classic ski, you should be able to get the one that works for you, Right. Um, and, and with a ski like that, that's a great example because it's more ability level like even if you're hitting the if you're right smack in the middle of the recommended weight on a world cup race classic ski if you've never classic skied in your life or if you've never learned like a cla a, a proper classic stride um, where you're really driving your your momentum from your weight swinging your leg forward instead yeah. of kicking back right if you can't do that you're probably just gonna like go nowhere because race classic skis yeah. take some kind of precision weighting and unweighting. Um, so. I can't do that. <laughs> right, but you, and that's a great example, like you would be much better off on one of the more recreational right. level classic skis. Um, you know, either you're getting a skin like a like a ski like this, which we're seeing a lot of, or you're getting getting like a fish scale kick zone yeah. um, and a softer flex. So that's a good example um, of how to navigate the test and, and how it can be useful. Um, Bob, what would you say your favorite part was? Uh, I like learning to learning skating. Yes. You know, and like I kind of found that I really like the higher end skis. Yep. <laughs> versus the, the entry level skis, but you know it's cost prohibitive for me. But sure. um, I like seeing that really lightweight stuff and just yep. like how incredibly fast you can go. If you, if you get that technique. Yeah, skating's a little different, I yeah. guess, than classic because a skate ski is kind of like a mountain bike, where like if you go out and buy the, the most expensive skate ski, yeah. it is going it, it to helps. be better because yeah. they're lighter and, and just more responsive. Um, they don't have that kind of same learning curve as, yeah. as classic skis. If you've never skate skied before, I think that that's a, I'm really glad you said learning to skate ski because if you've never skate skied before, definitely go out and, and try it. Uh, we have some entry level skate ski packages on Ski Essentials that are like yeah. really affordable and really fun to use. They're like oh ski technology has come a long way. Right. Like the, the recreational skate skis Which right is now. Like this one. Yeah, they're like pretty much equivalent to what I was racing right. on in high school and I had like the top tier right. level equipment in high school. Um, so you don't have to break the bank these days to get really nice Nordic equipment, um, which is nice. Yeah. But yeah, just love covering distance on skis. Yeah, you're really always fun. skiing. That's my thing about Nordic skiing is, you know, when you're at the mountain, at the resort, you're riding the lift for seven minutes and then you ski for two minutes. Yep. On these, you're skiing 100% of the time. Yep. So that's, a, you know, we always kind of talk about how, why we don't do it more, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a ton of fun. So I wish I, had, I wish I had more time to devote to yeah. Nordic skiing and I'm sure at one point in my life I will start yeah. going more 50-50 Nordic Alpine yeah, because um, it's just, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, um, To me, there's like, there's nothing quite like flying down a slight downhill in a V2 alternate yeah. at like crazy speeds, just like throwing your torso. Yeah, it's just yeah. so, so fun. I mean, I don't know what you just so, said, but so it fun. fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, first ever Nordic ski test. Mm -hmm. We're going to, uh, we're going to keep, keep doing them year after year. Um, and, and they'll grow just like our Alpine, Alpine test has. Yeah. So, you know, fairly limited number of skis and brands and testers in this first test, but hopefully you find it useful and then you can expect to, to see more skis, more testers. And we've talked about potentially going to Craftsbury for this year's test, which is cool. another, another iconic another Nordic place, yeah. destination. Um, so that'd be really cool. So hope you enjoy it. Um, let us know if you have any questions. Bye. <laughs> Jake, what are you skiing on? I'm skiing on some XM S1s. They're a high performance skate ski 
made by Rosignol, and they are fast. Paired up with the uh, this top of the line SK boot from Rosignol. So they're so fast that you can almost keep up with your girlfriend when she's on classic skis. And then I fall. <laughs> Generally I keep up for a few seconds and I, I fall really hard. Okay. So yeah. What do you think, Bob? <sighs> of these skis or yeah. this beautiful day or both? Both. Yeah, I mean. Just general thoughts. I love Nordic skiing. I wish I had a lot of extra time to do it. Yeah. Because it's pretty fun. And How about these out. views? It's, like, it's not really like the Austrian Alps, but it's really nice. Yeah, these Von Traps sure knew what they were doing. They picked a good spot. And there's Katie Hill right down there. Hi, Stowe.